And in this short introduction, we first want to look at why do we perform financial statement analysis? Well, the reason we want to do this is because this financial statement analysis will provide informed users the ability to make decisions about a company. And then we need to decide, well, how are we going to perform this financial statement analysis? And in this series, we're going to be looking at three different ways, and I have them denoted here. So the first one we'll look at is A, then we'll look at B, then we'll look at C throughout the series of these videos. So one way to perform a financial statement analysis would be to compare one year to the next. So we're comparing one company only, but we're using financial data from one year and comparing it with financial data of another year. So for example, here we have Smart Touch, and we're comparing Smart Touch's 2011 financial data with their 2012 financial data and deriving any information from that analysis to make decisions. Another method of financial statement analysis is to compare one company with another company. So if you think back to your, your principles when you were first learning your accounting principles and we were talking about GAAP, or generally accepted accounting principles, we know that accounting data, financial accounting data, must be comparable. The reason it must be comparable is if we do this kind of analysis. We want to go out and compare one company with another. We, as an informed investor, need to be assured or have the assurance that the data we're looking at is comparable, meaning it followed a certain set of rules. And the third method we'll look at is comparing a company with the industry averages or the industry.